Breaking news. Two young brothers who were allegedly abducted by their babysitter have just been found safe. This is a very urgent situation. Six-year-old Angel and five-year-old Christian located in Indiana, along with babysitter Teresa Lynn McGee, who is now under arrest. Two little boys, Angel and Christian. The mother comes home from work. The children are gone. Taken by their babysitter. Teresa Lynn McGee. The babysitter is gone. Police say the kids are now in protective custody. The babysitter facing first degree. Kidnapping charges after warrants were issued for her arrest. Kidnapping warrants. Police allege McGee, also known as Teresa Easterday, abducted the children she was babysitting hundreds of miles away in Alabama. She's looking at a lot of times. Questions swirling. How was the babysitter located? Angel, where are you? Nobody answers. And then she probably thinks nothing is wrong at first. But when she finds out something is wrong, she thanks her lucky stars that law enforcement took this seriously enough that although they didn't fulfill... We are taking your calls. For those of you just joining us, the two little boys that we told you about last night were found shortly after our show alive in Indianapolis, where we suspected they were, the babysitter actually taking them across state lines, across multiple states, lying to the father, saying she had taken them on a Florida vacation, pulling them out of school without the father's permission, and then posing as if they were her biological children and she their mother. In fact, isn't it true, out to Trang Doe, CNN affiliate WAFF, joining us at the police department, she actually puts a man up to getting on the phone and pretending to be the father. She did, and she had that man speak to school officials, but they were not convinced, Nancy. I mean, they have been in contact with the child's father, and they just knew that this guy was not him. Joining us right now, Woodrow Tripp, former police commander, polygraph expert. Woody, how do you go about cracking a case like this? Well, Nancy, it's, it's a multitude of different things. You have technology, and then it comes down to good old-fashioned, basic police work. And when you put those two together, you obviously have the results that you have got now. And they did an absolutely excellent job in investigating this and bringing it to a conclusion. Well, you know, she was at Office Depot, not Staples, but she did push the easy button by sending a fax to the school that says Office Depot. Indianapolis with the phone number right there but you know with somebody like this mark class even though that sounds easy once you get to Indianapolis it's like looking for a needle in a haystack well you know the chief said that things fell into place but things don't fall into place unless you have good no, systems. he's being modest he is because you need good systems you need good training you need good partnerships you need education you need awareness when that happens you have a great investigation and you recover the kids to Wendy Walsh, psychologist and expert there on momlaw.com. Wendy, we have seen a lot of cases where children are kidnapped and mm -hmm. a female is involved who actually begins to pretend and soon begins to believe that these children are her children. It is a psychological phenomena unlike no other. And that is what this babysitter was doing. She purported these were her biological children to everyone involved. It's so true, Nancy. It's not in the textbook, but I like to call it maternal psychosis. She's having this imagining that she's the mother and has the kids. And you know, the real issue there isn't so much, obviously, her mental instability and the horrible crime she committed. It's the trauma to the children. I mean, these children, I don't know what happened to their mother and why they're being raised by a single dad, but now they're being kidnapped and taken to another state. Just imagine the... These, these threats of abuse as a potential. I mean, my heart goes out to these children because well, they're having a tough time. You know, Meg Strickler, <clears throat> what's the defense? Can you imagine going home and the babysitter that you trusted for nearly a year is gone, your children are gone, and then you find out 
that she has gotten some kind of a complex that she is the mother and has taken your children and trying to raise them as her own in another state. And don't bother Strickler to say insanity because she gets on the phone, lies to the father that they're in Florida, lies to the school, lies to everybody in Indianapolis. She knows darn well what she's doing. Oh, there's a lot of intent here. So you've got, you can't argue insanity. I would just use her information as mitigating. She's not completely stable and hope that, that would, the judge would take some, some compassion with her. Well, come on, Meg. Come on. Everyone that commits a violent crime, you could argue, is not stable. But it's got to rise to insanity. Headline tonight, Angel and Christian are found safe and alive. This just in, a search across state lines for the babysitter who allegedly abducted two little boys has paid off. Teresa McGee, she has two boys, five and six years old. Babysitter Teresa McGee, a.k.a. Ter Teresa Easterday, has just been found at an apartment complex in Indiana. The boys, ages five and Six also located. The trusted babysitter who steals a five and six year old child. The babysitter found hundreds of miles away. From we are taking your calls out to Stella in California. Hi, Stella. Hi, Nancy. I'm a really big fan. I have a question regarding this case. Can the children ages five and six be called as witnesses against Mickey? They absolutely can be called as witnesses and most likely will be called as witnesses. A jury, unless she takes a plea, will hear all about everything she told them, what her plan was, what she told them on the way from Alabama to Indianapolis. And in that jurisdiction for kidnapping, the maximum penalty is life behind bars. To the lines, Dino in Michigan. Hi, Dino. Hi, Nancy. Nice to finally speak to you. Likewise. Uh, does crossing state lines make charges more serious? They really do. What about it, Daryl Cohen? Well, they don't really make them more serious, but it means the feds well, it can come in. in the feds. And it makes it serious showing what she did, that she left Alabama. She went to Indianapolis or Indiana. She was going to make sure that she could do everything she could to prevent these kids from finding Put her Cohen father. Up. So, yes, that makes it more Darryl, serious. Daryl, Daryl, yes. I know that you, as I, have practiced in not only state but federal court. Now, one uh, a state prosecutor is bad enough, but what you don't want is to find the feds peeking through your computer or look out the w kitchen window and see them going through your trash. When you get the feds on your tail, you're in trouble. So when oh, you cross did. state lines and the feds come after you, oh yeah, I would say that's a lot more serious. But I will also say that don't you agree this case will be handled in state court? Oh, absolutely. Now that they found them and the FBI took met a minimal but important part, clearly it will be handled in state court. But I agree with you. If the feds get involved, you are toast. But yeah, she's still going to be toast. It's, it's just over. a different type of toast. Out to the lines to Janet in Florida. Hi, Janet. Hi, Nancy. So nice to talk to you. Likewise. What's your question, dear? Um, I have two questions. One okay. is... Do we know what the babysitter intended to do with them? I mean, everyone's talking about having them as her own children. Maybe she intended to do harm or work. What about it, Mark Class? Well, the options would be raising them as her own kids. The options would be victimization of some type, possibly selling them into sexual slavery or a ransom. That's where you go. As far as mental problems, it appears as though it was an intentional act, knowing right from wrong, because she took the children to another state where she was not supposed to take them. 